I was in the process of writing the novel. I was in London and I was visiting the publisher. And I, you know, I felt like this big already because the novel wasn't finished and it was overdue. And I was sitting in his office going, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, and the book will be ready soon. And he was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever, whatever. He had much bigger fish to fry, I'm sure. And then he took me round the office to meet all the staff and there was this woman there who was in publicity and he said, oh, the publicity people, they're just so scary. <laughs> I just don't know what it is, but publicity people, it's not them, they're usually like really nice, sweet, positive people, but so I met this woman, never met her before and you know, I was going, oh, you know, this is, you know, William's writing a novel for us and she was like, oh yes, yes, we're really looking forward to that. And oh, and your book of short stories has come out. Oh, look, there's a review just in now. And she handed it to me. And I was, I was feeling quite sweaty already. And I started reading this review, and it was just terrible. It was like the worst review I've ever had, I think. <laughs> this woman just hated my book. And I was just sitting there, and suddenly the, I was standing. I was standing in the office reading this review, and the floor just fell out from under my feet and sweat just started pouring down my temples and I just said in this shaky voice, oh, this is a really bad review. And the publicity woman <laughs> just snatched it off me and said, oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry, I should have read it first, oh, how stupid of me. <laughs> and it was just awful, it was so awful. So that's, you know, that's being published, that's what it's like. It's like anyone can say whatever they like about you. I can't do it, is what she says. I simply can't admit students without prior musical training. My teaching methods, Mrs Henderson, are rather more specific than I think you understand. A jazzy pulse begins, just drums and double bass. She swirls her spoon and taps it once, 